day 109. I ended up cowboy camping at Bussoff Hostel. Um, the bunkhouse was actually closed. It wasn't full uh, because they're going through their annual permitting season. And there's updates and stuff that they have to do to the bunkhouse. So, uh, unfortunately, it was closed. Um, but they did have some really nice tent sites that were like dirt and lined. So there wasn't risk of condensation from wet grass, which was my main concern yesterday. Um, yeah, we went into town, got food, <laughs> as always on the AT. Um, yeah, hung out, drank a ton of coffee this morning. And today is, I don't know, an average hike average mileage day and then tomorrow that will set us up for a Nero into Mountain Harbor um, which I'm looking forward to an actual Nero <laughs> I think it will be eight and a half miles into town tomorrow morning so we should get in by noon and hang out um, and have an actual bed apparently the best breakfast on trail for 13 years running so we will see. Um, my hopes are not high, especially being a vegetarian. I'm sure it's just pancakes and eggs and coffee. Um, but we'll see if there's actually more to it than just that. So in one of the Appalachian Trail groups, there was a question posted about which is harder, Nobo or Sobo? And <laughs> I think I think maybe Nobos have it harder um, because they go through the first half of the trail and it's just glamping, 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 or platinum blazing, hostel hopping, whatever you want to call it, and a ton of organized trail magic. Like you are so supported and pampered on this trail. <laughs> and then you get to the last half and the hostels start becoming fewer and greater distance between them so you're in this habit and then it completely changes whereas Sobo you start out with a little less you're just chugging chugging through and then yeah you get south of Harper's Ferry and it's just glamping until the end of this trail just smooth sailing here so so maybe yeah maybe the Nobos have it harder on this trail than Southbounders. I just passed a family that was out hiking and they handed me a Snickers. Yay! <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> I almost stepped on this little dude. The first snake that I've seen in a very, very long time. It's been so cold out. But yesterday and today, it's been in the 70s, so 